Hello and welcome to the series on Microsoft Power Apps. In this video, we'll be looking at our blank application and editing the employee page. In the previous video, we added a gallery and we populated the gallery with the content from our SharePoint uh, um, data source. I think this looks okay, but I want to do some formatting. So one of the first things that I want to do is I want to look at the images. I think uh, instead of having a square image, we should change this to a round image. So if you go into your gallery and you can see we have our employee image at the bottom. If we select the employee image and we go to the properties, the first thing that I want to change is uh, the image position. So from fit, I want to change that to fill. And you can see that now it fills the total size of uh, the area, the height and width. So the height and width is another property that I want to set. Uh, so you make sure that the height is set to the same as the width. So both of them are currently set to 200. Uh, what I also want to do is if we look at advanced settings of our properties and we scroll down and we look for more options and we will have a radius. Uh, scroll down. So we got four properties for radius, radius top left, and I will set this to 200. I will set our radius top right to 200. And I will set our radius top uh, bottom left to 200. And I will set our radius bottom right to 200 as well. And if we, if we look at our screen, we can see now there's already been some changes and the images are round. I think that looks a lot better, but I want to do a little bit more editing. So what I, what I will do, I will create a, a circular background for our images. To do that, I'll select uh, under insert. Uh, let's first select employee image. Then we go to insert, we go to icons. And if we scroll down, we'll look for the circle uh, icon. Uh, it should be here. Uh, there it is. And by default, it's got a um, different color background. So what we will do is we'll select the properties for the uh, for the circle. And uh, we will also set the width and the height. So I'll set that to 250. Uh, that is the width and the height. We will also set to 250. So it's uh, a little bit bigger than our image. And we will set the fill color if you select fill. Again, you could also select this from your properties or the advanced properties. I'll remove that RGB value and I will change that to um, the color of our, our, our top bar, which was um, header bar. And uh, yeah. So what I also want to do, I want to set that in the center. So if you look under home, we will have an option to align and uh, you can align left, align right. I want to align this in the center. And uh, we can also move this up. So if we go back to our align and I'll align this top and let's select our image before we select our image you can see it's been uh, the circle has been added to our, our image gallery and it's at the, at the top of our image gallery so if we select the three dots we select reorder and we say send to back that will move it to the back of our image gallery and now if we click out of there you can see we can see our um, our image let's re let's move the name out the way because I don't want it there and also the department. We can look at that in a second. I also want to select the image and let's also go to align and we will say align center. And you can see this is align center now. Um, it does, still doesn't look so good. So what I want to do, I want to uh, expand my item grouping. I want to move my um, email address to the uh, underneath the um, icon and I also want to move my name and department. The 
Okay, so you need to play around with the image and just set it to, to how you like it. What I'll also do is I will select the name property and I'll select that to also to align its center. So this is aligning the text center and I also want to align the, the uh, component in the center. Let's do the same with HR. So HR will be align center and align center. And the email, the last one, we can say align center and uh, align center. So maybe we want to move this a little bit down. Great, so let's actually play this and see what it looks like. If we press F5 or on the play button, now we can see we have our image icon, which is set to a, a circular image and it has the name underneath there. It has the department of the employee and it has the email address of the employee. Uh, you might want to remove the email address because when you select on uh, uh, view details, it will um, anyway show that information. But for demonstration purposes, I think uh, having the the email address is, is fine. So you actually know how to, to change that email address. If we scroll down, we can see all of our employees are nicely aligned and the images have been added to the center and it has a blue background and it's also clickable. We also see we have some employees that don't have any, any image and uh, we will fix that in the next video by creating an if statement and uh, so it will display the information if it has an, uh, it will display the image if it has an image if it doesn't have an image it will display the default image um, so that's what we'll be looking at at in the next video maybe if you want to research that to yourself and try implement it yourself and then we'll be looking at the the full video in the next uh, uh, the full solution in the next video let me know what you think in the comments and i will see you in the next video